I'm accompanied by my awesome mom, Patricia. Hi. So today's video is going to be 20 questions for me. So she completely uh, came up with all of these questions. I have no idea what questions they are. So I figured it'd be a great video to show you guys a little bit about Mel. Hi everyone. Well, I know a lot of these answers. I'm her mom. I don't know all of them, but I know most of them. Um, however, I know that some of her students and some of her subscribers and followers have asked some of these questions. So we're going to start with some basic ones. How old are you? 28. Hmm. How long have you been doing yoga? Well, um, I can go as far back when I was six or seven years old. So my mom and I, we used to practice um, yoga poses, but at that time, we didn't even know they were yoga poses. It wasn't until I turned 13, I think you gave me two DVDs. Both of them were yoga classes, and that's when the spark kind of happened, like, oh, this is yoga, look at this. Um, and when I turned 18, I took uh, yoga a lot more seriously and I've been practicing really since I was 18 on a consistent basis and teaching for four years. Good. What would you say is one pet peeve of yours? A pet peeve of mine? Definitely inconsistency for sure. And I think in any business you need to be very consistent. Also in your personal life it's important to be consistent. So inconsistency is definitely a pet peeve of mine. Mm -hmm. Okay, with that being said, what is something that you don't like about yourself? What is your biggest flaw? My biggest flaw, I say, is um, time management. <laughs> and I can, I remember being really young, even in school, like in elementary school, I remember we would have to come home and bring our planner and the teacher would write notes of the day and always um, it was either Melanie's talking too much and she doesn't know time management. So that's, yeah. Um, I think what I heard a lot was she doesn't use her time wisely. <laughs> that, yes, all the teachers in school would say that. She doesn't know how to manage her time wisely. That was the number of, and she talks too much in class. Yeah, oh, and she still does. <laughs> okay, what project are you currently working on? A project I'm currently working on. Well, I've been studying uh, the, the philosophical side of yoga, not just the yoga poses, not just like the physical side of yoga, but I'm really studying the yoga sutras of, of Patanjali. It's 196 aphorisms. And I am trying my hardest to understand it, and I'll let you know how it goes. Not to be confused with the Kama Sutra. No! Although those are probably interesting as well. <laughs> Someone's mind is in the gutter. <laughs> I'm just saying. What do you see outside your bedroom window? That was a question from one of your followers. Interesting. What do I see out of my bedroom window? Well, I can see the tomato plant that on its own grew. So a little backstory of this. We have a fire pit out in the front lawn and that's where we burn debris, branches, all kinds of stuff. And one day, Justin, my brother, was walking around and noticing, you know, I think there's like a weed growing, but when he inspected that weed closely, he was like, it smells like a tomato plant. I, I don't even think this is a weed. And from there, she grew and she has grown. She's even taller than we are. She is super tall, has given us so many tomatoes. So I, I, think, I think I get like six tomatoes a day. Yes, yes, really good tomatoes, by the way, because I love eating them. So I see the tomato plant, I see oleanders, Sometimes I'll see the guinea fowl roaming around, you know, they're we very... We have two guinea fowls. Yes, they're super loud and they can get obnoxious sometimes, but we love them. Okay. One scary movie that you just cannot watch. It. <laughs> okay. I, I think was, the remake is coming out now. Yes, the part two. Oh, is, part two. Yeah, part, part two is coming out. They had the trailer. 
I was traumatized as a little girl watching that movie and to this day I don't like clowns and I really don't like that movie at all. Like I, I'm terrified. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> um what is your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is baking, for sure. Baking is so therapeutic for me. I love trying new recipes. I just love cookies and uh, macarons and I love pies and any kind of baking I just, I love to do. While She's jamming. really good. <laughs> while jamming to some music. <laughs> okay. Do you have any pets? Yes, uh, we have three dogs. We have Rocco, he is our lab and he's our big baby and you know he's right now he's laying on the floor taking his nap. Then we have Bella, she's our lazy hound, <laughs> she's the laziest dog ever but we love her. And Nina, she's our toy rat terrier, the princess of the house. Okay. What are some items on your bucket list? visiting Egypt and I think she knows it so well <laughs> she knows me so well but definitely visit Egypt I have always been fascinated by the history of ancient Egypt the hieroglyphs all you know the pyramids of Giza and so before I became a certified yoga teacher some people don't know this but I really wanted to be an Egyptologist slash archaeologist like that was a dream of mine but it's okay, I, I love teaching yoga, that's my passion, but definitely visit Egypt for sure. That's uh, one thing on my bucket list. The second thing would be swimming with a dolphin. Um, dolphins are my favorite animals and I would love to swim with them. A third item on my bucket list, I would love to do um, skydiving. Ooh. I have never done that. It's a very scary thing to do, but yeah, I would like to do that. Cool. Okay, um, favorite shows growing up? Ooh, favorite shows. Definitely Charm. So when I was little, my mom wouldn't let me watch that show, but I still managed to watch it. Um, so <laughs> Charm, uh, Gilmore Girls. I love that show. I remember watching that growing up. I have actually, I re-watched it about a few months ago and I binge watched all of Gilmore Girls. So that, that show has been always close to me because it's like a mother-daughter relationship and it's just so, that's such a quirky show but I love it. And my third one would be Supernatural. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think it's still going. I don't think they, I don't think they have finished Supernatural, no. but I mean, I, I stopped at some point. I can't remember when I stopped, but okay. Three songs on your playlist, top three songs, or just three songs on your playlist, your current playlist. My current playlist. So there's a song, it's called I Am On Fire or I Am oh, Fire. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. I Am On Fire. <laughs> It's by Sky Orchid. Shout out to our friends. Sky yes. Orchid, y'all are the bomb. Yes, y'all are serious. Daniel, the behind those drums. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's yeah. awesome. Gabe, yeah. your voice is phenomenal. Daniel, check it out. And Sky Gabe. Orchid. Mm -hmm. Yes, so Sky Orchid for sure, the, the I Am On Fire song. Then River by Bishop Briggs. And Blow by Ed Sheeran. That's a new song that just came out. And oh my gosh, I blast that song so loud in the car. Like, that's awesome. I haven't heard Blow yet. I've, <laughs> I've heard Perfect. Um, yeah, that's one of his classics, but this one's a new one, so it's, it's awesome. I love it too. Okay. I know the answer to this, but okay. What's your favorite food uh, <laughs> that you can't be without? I love seafood. I love, love, love seafood. I love lobster and shrimp and oysters and salmon and just anything seafood related. I love. Cool. Mm -hmm. Favorite color? Red. Red for sure. And I can hear her laughing. Yeah. Red has always been just, I just, it's so vibrant and you know, my nails are painted red. I have red, red lipstick on. I, I don't know, just red. Strangest thing you've eaten? 
I once ate a cricket and that was a very interesting experience. And you know what? It honestly didn't taste bad. It tasted pretty good. It was salty. So, gross. <laughs> Celebrity crush. Orlando Bloom. He's <laughs> always been her celebrity oh crush. Oh my gosh, yes, Orlando Bloom. I mean, Pirates of the Caribbean, I remember watching that, going to theaters with my best friend. Um, but yeah, Orlando Bloom has always been my favorite, like, celebrity crush. And he still is. <laughs> Katy Perry, you're so lucky. <laughs> Last show you binged watched. La Casa de Papel at Money Heist on Netflix. The family and I, we actually been watched that. And <laughs> that was such a good show. Like it kept me on the edge of my seat and just the plot, like whoever's the writer of that show, what a mind you have. Like I was just completely blown away by that show. It's awesome. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate for sure. Dark chocolate, actually. The darker the better. <laughs> summer or winter? Oh, summer for sure. I for do sure. not like winter at all. I was born in Miami. I love the summer. I love the heat. I love, you know, tanning at the pool. So, yeah. Beach or mountain? Oh, that's such a hard question. I love them both so much, though. I love the beach, but I love hiking. I love the mountains. I don't know. Can I pick both? Can I have no. both? Beach no. or mountain? Oh, I have to pick one. Oh, Sorry. Oh gosh. Um, I don't know. That's really a hard question. I. Wow, really? Yeah, because I like them both. I know, but if I had to choose, I would absolutely choose like, beach. Okay, so like you're but, talking about like. I have to choose one place that I'll live for the rest of my life. Let's just say. Just like hypothetically speaking. Right. Speaking. Okay, then beach for sure. Okay. But I love them both so much. Like I can mm -hmm. have, I can enjoy my days at the beach, but then on weekends, let's go hiking in the mountains. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I have to do both. Like we'll strike yoga poses at the beach, and then weekends, let's strike yoga poses on top of the mountain. How about that? Okay. Compromise. Okay. <laughs> All right, um, tell us something that people find hard to believe about you. Okay, I really like rap music. Uh -huh, yes. Rap, yes. hip hop, and so I- Gangsta eat, rap. Yeah, <laughs> like the rap that is really like inappropriate. <laughs> um, so like I love dancing to that. And yeah, a lot of people are surprised about that, you know, but I, whenever I'm in the car or I have my headphones on, I like to blast, you know, some good rap. Okay. What is your favorite movie quote? My favorite movie quote is from Lord of the Rings, my all-time favorite movies. I binge watched that movie, by the way, so many times with my brother Justin, but it's by this character in the movie, Arwen. And she said, I would rather spend one lifetime with you than spend all the ages of this world alone. So that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful little like love story um, in that movie and that's my favorite quote. Okay. Well, um, that pretty much answers all the questions. I do want to add something. It's not a question, but it's just something that I want to point out and something that I admire about, about you a lot. And that is um, that you never charge children under the age of 18 um, in your yoga classes and you never charge uh, people when they're going through hard times or if mm -hmm. they have a medical condition and I really admire that about you. Yeah, and, no. Um, I think, I mean, I'm so passionate about yoga and I want it to be accessible to everyone. So I strongly believe children under the age of 18 should have free classes. They should come with their parents, come with their siblings. And definitely if you're suffering, you know, uh, you know, a medical condition or, you know, hard times, you know, come take yoga. It's perfectly fine. You can come. Like I always want it to feel like it's an extension of your house. So, well, cool. Alrighty. Well, thanks for all those questions. Well, there weren't only mine. There were pretty much from people asking. So. Awesome. Well, if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to comment below. 
Um, subscribe, share this video if you would like to. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Namaste. Namaste.